Hey guys, I'm Maddie, and today I want to talk to you about eczema. There we go. Let's also talk about psoriasis and dry skin conditions. They're not pretty, it's not cute, not particularly sexy either, but so many people suffer from it, and the more and more I talk to people about my own experience with eczema, the more I understand that nearly everybody out there has had their own experience. And you know what, if we all just talked openly about it, then we'd probably all be in a better place. So there we go. Let's talk about dry skin, guys. <laughs> I want to start with my eczema journey and it all began about three years ago when I was diagnosed with what I thought was perioral dermatitis and this is sort of an acne eczema combination that leaves little red bumpy itchy spots around your mouth, nose and eyes and I had this for three years and it just left me really down, stressed, I never thought I would find a cure for it and it wasn't until recently I found out I'd been misdiagnosed and it wasn't PD, it was in fact undertreated eczema. I made a video about my condition when I thought it was perioral dermatitis called The Real Me and everything I said then about how I felt suffering with a skin condition that affected my face still stands. It's just that now my diagnosis has changed slightly. As soon as I was diagnosed I was prescribed a steroid ointment which I was told to put on morning and night on the affected areas which is personally around my mouth, my eyes and my nose and it worked wonders but over time because I was using it so frequently, which I had to because I have this annoying type of eczema that just doesn't really want to go away, let me know if you're in the same position. I just found that my skin was started to become a little bit resistant to it and as I educated myself on steroids it wasn't really an ideal situation to be putting it on so frequently. So I needed to change up my skincare regime to try and help manage and control my eczema better without the need for steroids all the time. And that is when I came across Hydromol ointment. This is what I call my magic cream. <laughs> Previous to finding this, I was trying thousands of different, gosh, milky cleansers, cleansing balms, toners, moisturizers, SPF, serums, the whole lot just to try and keep moisture in my face. But the good thing about this is that it's a three in one solution. So if we open it up, it's like a buttery consistency and depending on how much water you add to it means it will change up to become a whole variety of different beauty needs. I now use this in the bath, I use it as a soap substitute and I use it as a moisturiser. It's fragrance free, sulphate free, really simple and best of all it's quite cheap. So I wanted to talk to you about how I use this and why it's working for me. So first up, I use the Hydromol as a soap substitute and this begins first thing in the morning when I wash my face. And to do that, I'll just take about one penny's worth of the ointment and then I'll mix it in my hands with quite a lot of water and it becomes like a creamy, soapy consistency. And then I will just use that to wash my face with water. And then I'll take two cotton pads and then I'll just wipe those over my face to remove any excess. And I just find that it leaves my skin feeling really plump and supple and well moisturised before I've even added any other layers. And then after that I just take another little amount of Hydromol, even less this time, with my hands that are already wet and then I'll just rub them together till it becomes a nice thin lotion and then I'll just use that as a moisturiser all over my face. I used to be prone to acne so I was worried that such a thick ointment might encourage that but actually if anything keeping my skin moisturised has helped. And I find that as long as I use this first thing in the morning, by the time I get round to doing my makeup or putting on any sun protection, it's already settled in nicely and actually it makes quite a nice base for foundation anyway, so win-win. Now if I fast forward to the evening, I use the Hydromol on my face in exactly the same way, except I'll cleanse twice. The first to take my makeup off and bonus, this takes even waterproof mascara off really well and then I'll use it again to cleanse and then finally I'll use it as a moisturiser. And as I'm going to sleep, I can afford for some areas to look a little bit shiny. So if I've got any particular problem areas on that day, I'll just take the Hydromol Neat and I'll just dab it on some of the areas that are particularly bad. Something I will say though is that when I was first treating eczema, I was just putting the ointment on the dry areas I could see, but actually eczema affects under your skin as well. So if you do have any dry patches, it's important to moisturise the entire surrounding area to really help you manage the condition. But the best thing about this is that you can also use it in the shower or the bath. So I'll take about a two pound coins worth 
I'll run it under the warm tap through my fingers and it just creates a nice oily, milky bath that you can then bathe in. So every inch of your body is moisturized and has this protective barrier on it. And then when I'm out of the bath, again, I'll just take a little bit, mix it with a small amount of water so it becomes a nice lotion and I'll just rub it all over my body. And if I fancy a bit of a pamper session, then I'll just again take some of it just in its pure form and I'll rub it on dry areas like my knees, my elbows. Maybe I'll put some on my feet and then put a pair of socks on so I wake up with everything feeling nice and smooth. And that's it. The Hydromole pretty much has made all of the other products in my bathroom cabinet obsolete because it does everything. But that's sort of the point of the product. The thing with eczema is that it's not going to go away. So I personally had to find a solution which was easy and fuss free to repeat on a morning and night basis that wasn't just going to be an absolute pain in the bum. And the good thing is because this one product does everything, I don't resent doing it. So yeah, this is now my soap and my moisturiser and everything else. So that's my eczema journey and a little bit of my morning and nighttime routine so you can see how I've learned to manage eczema with just one simple product. But definitely let me know if you're suffering, if you're fed up, um, what solutions you found that have worked for you. And of course, pass it on if you know anybody in need. We're all together here. You're not the only one suffering from it. I know that now. Let's just have an open discussion about it. And I hope this helps. Bye.